Hi everyone, welcome to session four of my discussion with Jesus on partner relationships. Should be a good session today. Should be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because at the last session we dealt with a lot of the things that, uh, well, the four primary qualities that a person's going to need to develop a good relationship. Yeah. And this session we're going to concentrate a lot more on the, the, uh, the bad habits that people have. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the way you've described this one. This the the bad habits to get rid of if you want to have a good relationship. Mm. Yeah. So the ba bad habits that ruin good relationships yeah. is probably what we'll title this one. Yeah. <laughs> what I like about it reminds me of that song, eh? Can't help myself, bad habits, <laughs> keep running wild, lost control. <laughs> and you know what I reckon the major problem is in that most relationships people say, I can't help myself. Exactly. When in fact we can. Yes, and, and, I, and I suppose this relates to the underlying thing that we introduced in our last uh, session on, uh, last frequently asked question on these topics, and that, and that was the concept that we can individually be perfect and our relationship can be perfect. Yeah. And I feel that we need to always have that focus in our relationship, that it's possible to have our relationship and, our, and as a person individually, that it's possible to be perfect. And we need to have that goal, that underlying goal. I feel that most people are pretty disillusioned with that concept. They are. And so they don't have that underlying goal. And they deny the use of their will then. It, they justify not embracing a will to actually challenge the things that we're going to talk about in this session. Yes. So what, what we end up happening, what end up, ends up happening is relationships become more of a codependent bartering system rather than a true love-based gift, gifting of love towards each other that binds both of you together. And I also notice a lot that uh, we, and by the way, I suppose you could say in this introduction that we still haven't got to seeing practically how we can ask the first questions we introduced in the first session. Yeah. So what, what we're trying to do is basically establish the foundation of what will make a good relationship continue to grow. And then we'll get to some real practical issues about how each of these things that we've raised will, will, can be answered in specific questions that people have asked about their personal relationships. Yeah, what I like about this series of FAQs that we've been doing so far is that we are giving people the, the building blocks, as you said, we've got the, the two primary questions, the, uh, sorry? Yep. Yes, the four <laughs> supplemental questions. Yes. And uh, then we talked about the four issues, love, truth, humility and will. Yes. And now today we're going to talk about a very distinct set of bad habits, as you call them. Yes. Um, and anybody will recognise them from our discussions about emotion. Yep. So, you know, a lot, of our, uh, a lot of the discussions about emotion will relate to uh, partner relationships, of course. Yeah. So they'll start to see how they affect or how they impact upon a relationship yep. and in this case the bad habits that can ruin the relationship <laughs> and and ruin good relationships so we often yep. notice people who start out having had the potential to have quite a good relationship and yet the reality is that the bad habits kick in mm -hmm. and as soon as they kick in it, it definitely rapidly generally destroys a relationship and, and then it's a matter of tolerance about whether a person's going to tolerate uh, this terrible relationship they're now in for the rest of their life or whether they're going to finish up making a decision that no, they, can, they, they will risk leaving that relationship and starting another one. Yeah. The unfortunate thing though with starting another relationship is the bad habits follow them. Exactly. And, <laughs> and so you end up with the bad habits that impacted upon the previous relationship now impacting upon the new relationship and the new relationship often turning out, um, you know, to be as bad as the old one or not much improved version of the old one. Or it could be almost the bad habits switch over completely. We, we used a certain number of bad habits with one person and we promised to ourselves we would never do that again. Yeah. And instead we then introduce a whole series of other bad habits to, to satisfy our addictions or facade yeah. and, and, and then we impact, we, we impose those bad habits upon the next relationship and that often happens where a person has what they believe to be a really bad relationship and then they impose a whole heap of bad habits they you know grow a whole heap of new bad habits <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really <laughs> to avoid <laughs> to the... avoid the pain of that old yep. relationship and then they impose that those bad habits on the new relationship and uh, that's very very sad to mm. see that happening where 
people often then have two or three relationships and then they decide not to have another one or they decide to that what they've got right now is the best it can possibly be and they stay satisfied with that yeah mm. i like the way you're discussing the person's personal bad habits what i notice is that most people including myself in the past we focus on the partner's bad habits rather than recognizing we have a corresponding set of bad habits that are even enabling and in this codependency mm -hmm. where we're bouncing off each other with what are from god's perspective very bad habits yes and that's one of the things that we talked about in humility is having the humility to actually look at ourselves in this dynamic mm -hmm. rather than continually projecting blame yes. outwards but also in this introduction i think i'd like to introduce the concept that uh, Many of our bad habits are quite evil in their nature mm. and intention. Um, I feel a lot of people believe that they uh, are relatively innocent of evil, but the reality is our bad habits create a lot of evil in our life and actually do come from some quite damaged and often quite evil underlying intentions within ourselves. And from God's perspective, you can see why when people enter relationships why quite a lot generally of damage is done mm -hmm. in a relationship to the person's soul and the soul of other people yeah. because you're now engaged full time if you like with another person so, uh, half, you know another ha half of a soul yep. and as a result of that you now have the potential full time to hurt somebody and then of course if children come into the relationship you now have the potential not only to full time hurt your partner but also to full-time impose all of your bad habits upon your children as well. So you can see why a lot of people pass in a poor condition because they're imposing these bad habits, justifying them to themselves, yeah. but also imposing them not only upon their partner, but also on their children. And, and their partner at least would have a choice to leave, but the children don't even have that choice. Yeah. So we're actually forcing our children to have these bad habits imposed upon them. So there is a significant amount of potential damage that a relationship can do if we are out of harmony with love. But there is a significant amount of joy and happiness that can be achieved if the relationship is inside of harmony with love. Yeah. And that's probably what we'd like to talk about at a, a, later, a later session as well. Yeah. But at this stage, we want to raise this issue of <laughs> what, are, what are these bad habits that ruin relationships? And the majority of people have heard us talk about, you know, emotions will recognise most of these bad habits at some point. What I like is that we're going to talk about these bad habits in and specifically hone in on the relationship aspect though, isn't it? We've mm. spoken a lot generally about how it affects people generally in their day-to-day -day lives and their soul condition, but now we have the opportunity to really apply these principles to a partner relationship and hopefully give some people in even insight into why things aren't working well in their partner relationships and what they're not wanting to see in terms of bad habits. Yes. Yeah. So let's get into it. Good. <laughs>